Hey guys, back again with another unboxing. So I've been, uh, if you guys don't know, I'm really into the Sega Genesis. But uh, some of my favorite games are uh, Mega Drive exclusives. And uh, not that it's a big deal to play, uh, you know, Japanese Mega Drive games on an American Genesis, but a lot of those games are crazy expensive. Like Troubleshooter 2, Mega Man The Wily Wars, Alien Soldier, Pulse Man, Eliminate Down, Glay Lancer. So I found this uh, seller on YouTube, and I'll put a link to his uh, uh, shop in the description. Um, so these are about $30 a piece with free shipping, and he sells really high quality reproductions. So, also to note, he uses real Genesis PCBs as well as shells. So as you can see, wow, the quality of the sticker label is insane. Very shiny. And I'll turn it over, you can see it's a real Genesis shell. And he also uses <laughs> real nice quality shells, not like beat up ones. So what sets these aside from other reproductions in addition to having real PCBs is that he uses flash memory that is rated for 5 volts. That's important because in recent in recent times we found that a lot of new uh, retro products are using a 3.3 volt flash when these systems operate at 5 volts. You know, I'm speaking mostly with uh, how the digital logic works. And uh, the problem with that is uh, the when you send a 5 volt signal to a 3.3 volt flash, it'll uh, kill it over time, and it could possibly cause damage to your system. I'm having a hard time getting this open. So I want to show off his uh, craftsmanship. Oh, he doesn't want me to open that one. Let's try one of these other ones. I think maybe the screw is a little uh, strict. You alien soldier. What the hell? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Ah, finally able to get one of them open. <laughs> I really want to show off uh, how well he does the mods, so that's why I really want to open these up. So I looked up the data sheet for this uh, flash memory that he uses, and it's rated for 5 volts. Which, like I said, is really important. As you can see, he's done an amazing job on the soldering on that chip. Because over time, when you uh, operate the flash memory, uh, at a at a voltage that's out of out of range of the uh, data sheet, it could damage it, and it could damage the console. Um, there was a recent article posted about uh, multi carts and uh, EverDrives uh, that goes over this uh, in much better detail than me. But it's important with reproductions as well because a lot of times you're using you know, new flash memory which operates at the wrong voltage. So anyway, once I get this back together, I'll show off the games that I got. So we picked up Pulse Man, Glay Lancer, Alien Soldier, Mega Man The Wily Wars. I also have Battle Circuit 2, not Battle Circuit, Battle Mania 2, and uh, Eliminate Down. I bought those previously and I was really impressed with this work, so I picked these up. So I plan on doing playthroughs of all these games, but in the meantime, stay tuned. Later.